Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So it's Monday. Uh, it's actually almost five o'clock. The guys have just been uh, doing more of the tile, but they just started on the waterfall wall, which are doing the block right now. So yeah, I just uh, wasn't gonna film today, but now that they're starting that, I was like, oh, I might as well, because it's different. Uh, they also got the plaster down on the shallow end floor. So I think those tiles will probably be going in tomorrow. We'll film that, of course. Um, might do a time lapse because that's all the tiles that have the names on them. So, yeah, um, we got like a makeshift uh, scaffolding across to stand on to do the wall. Yeah, I'm gonna go down there if I can. I don't know if I can walk on the plaster and just show you guys. Good morning. It's October. <laughs> Look at the sky. Um, I was saying to Shayna, and I put a post on our story on Instagram because a lot of people ask us, oh, what's the weather going to be like in October? Like we said, we don't know. <laughs> it could be like this for days. Um, so the guys are starting to lay down the tiles with everyone's names on them. I've got the map there, so they're looking at the map to see whereabouts they go. And uh, that way we'll know exactly where your tile is if you've bought a tile. So yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting to get some of the flooring done and see the flow of it with the, uh, the bottom done as well. And then uh, Chino and his hermano, <laughs> uh, Kaler is his name. They're, uh, they're continuing to work on the berm. So we're gonna get it, like I said, we're gonna get it kind of shaped and then we're gonna do a bit of a retaining wall and then I can shape it from there myself. Don't want it straight up and down we're gonna plant plants and stuff in there so yeah it's a little a little more difficult than i thought it was going to be in my head it seemed a lot easier and in my head there wasn't as much dirt as what's over there so yeah it's just a matter of getting it to look right and we actually like you guys saw we pulled a lot of dirt out like three loads or four loads in the truck so if we had kept all that we would have had like a mountain over there so i'm glad we actually had the truck come but yeah, I'm just gonna shoot a little bit of B-roll here for you guys of them laying down your guys' tiles if you're watching that uh, bought one. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, easy now. They did the, all the grinding on the first row for the 45, and now it's just basically laying them and then cutting the ones on the end. Good afternoon, it's Wednesday. Just a little update right now, uh, just to show you guys what the guys have been working on. So the wall is going up for the waterfall. As you can see right here, so right where in the middle, that's where the waterfall is gonna be. So it's 
got a good height when you're in the pool. So yeah, they're just uh, working on that. And then uh, Alexis is now doing the, I'll go down a bit, oops. Doing the plaster on the floor so they can start tiling that as well. And uh, the berm is very close to being where it's supposed to be. We just got a little bit more to move, which I will discuss with Leo. It's just easier instead of my Spanglish with Chino. <laughs> so yeah, the tile in the shallow end from the drone, which you guys have seen, uh, looks really good. And there's people's names underneath there. So the map will be available if you did donate and you want to know where your tile is then we'll let you know when you're here and you can stand on it and dance if you want <laughs> but yeah it's so cool to see this come together now like with, the, with all the tile and then seeing it wet too gives a better idea of what it's gonna be like when the, the water's in there but that's yeah, cool the, <laughs> the little bridge that they made across with like one little two by four <laughs> holding up the middle just to be able to do the wall so we actually bought some lipstick palms uh, from the nursery that's in Carrillo. That's where we've got most of our plants. Probably 99% of our plants that we have on the property we've gotten from there. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, we got four lipstick palms. So two tall ones, which are gonna go on each side of the wall and have light shining up at the lipstick palms. So those, uh, for four of them was 110,000 colones. So I'm just gonna put what it is down below here so you can see what the, the translates to in uh, US and Canadian. Uh, a little bit more in Canadian because the Canadian dollar sucks right now. Um, but I was looking online and like just for smaller ones, like the small ones we have, where it was like 400 US uh, from a company in the States just to get those same palms. So uh, a little more expensive than when we paid to get the ones over here, but still cheaper than it is in the States for those. And uh, they're such a unique uh, palm tree that it's nice to have those with the red stock like that so yeah we like to have that and we got some plumerias we're gonna figure out what else to plant around here and then in the back uh, in between the two uh, foxtail palms there's gonna be three loungers there and then in behind that we're gonna plant some stuff so that it creates a barrier between the parking and the pool and uh, yeah that's it uh, <laughs> the berm again it's, uh, it's starting to take a lot better shape once we get the wall in there then I can figure out where the dirt can go. We'll plant some stuff just to create that separation from this area and our area. So then on the back side, actually, we we're just talking about that. We're gonna have like terraces up it and that's where we're gonna have all our Thai ingredients, all of our like lemongrass and our basil and actually you're gonna grow some dill, uh, things like that. We'll just have like a little bit of a herb garden in the back. Yeah, it's uh, gonna be nice to see all the tile complete. And yeah, we gotta figure out to, with the water, do we just throw a couple hoses in here and let it fill up that way? Or have a truck come in? I gotta see which one's the least expensive option. Um, yeah, I think it's like last last month we paid for our water bill was 20,000 colones. And that's, that's a lot with them like spraying stuff and using water for concrete and then the rentals in our house. So still not super expensive, but it might be cheaper just to have a, a truck come in that's full of water and fill it. But we'll see, we'll let you guys know. But yeah, that's just a quick update here. And uh, yeah, once they're doing something different, then I'll film some B-roll and give you another update then. Oh, and uh, should know too, again, October, it rained a little bit this afternoon, like around lunchtime, and then it's been like nice the rest of the day. And it was actually nice this morning too. So yeah, you can't, uh, can't go by what the weather app says and each year is different as well. Last year we had uh, a, little, a little rainier and then, uh, Year before was a lot right there, so Mr. Masculo, Jackie Chino. Good morning. Update. Update time. So uh, Leo's here figuring out the waterfall. So yeah, it's uh, in place there. Just figuring out the plumbing, the location. I don't know. It's gonna go back a bit, I think. Leo, fill me in. Is they, the waterfall gonna go back a bit more? No. Oh, cause you'll do the, the plaster and then the, oh, okay. Cause the tile should be flush with the the end of it, right? Yeah, I just wanna make sure it's like flush so that it doesn't stand out, but see, but it, it should be flush with it though. Like it should go back. Yeah, the the uh, tile should be with the same as the lip. See? Yeah, then, then you don't see it, right? It's Only it's hidden just a little bit, yeah. Okay, see, okay. so it's got to go back a little bit, yeah. Yeah, 
Just so it's not poking out, it's just like, it's kind of in the wall, right? Yeah. 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 Why don't? Guys, it's Leo. So yeah, it does have to go back a little bit, but it's way, it's nice being here. You can catch things like that as it's happening, so you can uh, fix it. <laughs> so bedhead. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, uh, they've got uh, more of the plaster down on the, on the floor. So they're working on that. I'm going to talk to, to Shana and see if we're going to go much higher or just keep it at that level. It's starting to look big. <laughs> I'm gonna go go ask her now. <laughs> There's some tin tin hair going on this this morning. Howler monkeys are going off this morning. It's cool because they're like right in the trees over here. So when you stay at Sikasa, pretty much guaranteed a chance to see howler monkeys walking to the store. Not, they're not walking to the store when you're walking to the store. Maybe they are going to the store. So yeah, Shana just came out. Um, just, yeah, we're just trying to decide if we go one more brick level up or block, <laughs> as I was corrected, uh, go one more block up um, or just keep it at what the block level is now. But we are gonna go one more up just because the, the pump house has to be five feet minimum, just be able to get in there and out, so. Um, yeah, one more up, which is fine. It's hard to visualize right now because there's no water in here and that's not on as well. So it's really hard to kind of see how the height's going to be. You don't want it to look too tall, but we have to go to a certain point because of because of the uh, pump house. So yeah, we just she came out. We talked about that. It's nice uh, us both being able to make those decisions and talk to Leo about it as well. To, to see what works. So uh, yeah, at least that's figured out. Um, yeah, I might show some more stuff later, a little bit of B-roll once we get going on it. Definitely have a shower and fix what's going on here. <laughs> it's terrible. Good morning. Time for another update. Not a big update from uh, last night, but they are starting the tile in the deep end, the floor. And then uh, Kaler's doing more of the grout up there. Up there. So uh, yeah, it's uh, going quick. It's just big pieces in the bottom of the, the pool. <laughs> so yeah, they're getting that done. Um, I think they'll go to a certain point and then they'll start uh, plastering the top of the wall that they just built and then they'll start tiling that down and then have the floor meet up with it. So it's the same as the, the rest of it. So yeah, not, uh, not too much of an update today. I'll uh, later on, once they've done more, I'll film some B-roll and uh, yeah. 
Just wanted to do a quick update, show you guys what they're up to here. It's Friday, so we got uh, today, a half a day tomorrow for the week, and probably be starting on the pump house Monday, I would think. Um, have to talk to Leo, see what he says, but that's what I'm guessing. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll cut to some B-roll later on. So yeah, just a little update now. Leo's here. Hey! hey. See? Got the whole crew. Need more beer. <laughs> Got uh, Leo Sr. and Leo Jr. Or a frame, a frame, is it a frame? A frame, you know. A frame? The same. Senior, a frame, junior. The same name. Same name. Leonardo. Yeah. Leonardo. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't know any other names. He was just like, I'll just do mine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Leo and his dad have the exact same name. Um, and then we got uh, this pile being moved. Rainer's moving it. Working on his musculos. Right. Get get all strong for the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up. But yeah, it's uh, nice that everybody's here now. Um, Leo and Rainer were working at Project Aloha doing the gates there and uh, the rock. There's like, they put white rock down so it's not as muddy. And uh, what else did they do? Oh, they put like the culverts in. So they were working on that. They got all that done. So everybody's here. We just want to get this going. So just uh, as much manpower as possible. So yeah, I went over this with Leo. Um, we're gonna get this uh, poured first. So uh, I'm taking out money right now for the pump and the filter and all that stuff. So once I've uh, got all that money out, uh, I can start pulling money out to pay for the concrete over here. And uh, yeah, it's gonna do the smooth concrete. So we've gone over like making a step up, sloping it a bit, um, having a little like box around the palm trees, the foxtails so that when they grow, they can still stay in the concrete there. And yeah, like I said, three loungers there. And we're gonna move one of our lipstick palms that are it's over there, kind of hidden now behind the berms. So we're gonna move that out front so you guys can see that. Um, but yeah, they're grouting, tiling, shoveling, and then after they're done, they're drinking beer. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, just wanted to come out here and do a quick update, show you guys where they're at. Uh, they almost got all of the floor completed now. They got just a little bit left. They got a pretty easy the wall, but uh, coming along. Can't wait to jump in. Watch like, as soon as it's done, we'll have like storms or something where we won't get really get to use it. But the nice thing is it's warm here so you can still go in the pool even if it's raining. Cause you're gonna get wet anyway. Good morning, it's Saturday. Week is done for the guys soon. So they got all the uh, dirt cleared out right here. So they can start uh, doing the wood around there and continuing to tile and grout. Hard on the knees, Leo. <laughs> you need kneecaps or knee pads. <laughs> Wreck your kneecaps. <laughs> so yeah, they're getting the uh, seating all done. Alexis is making a bunch of noise up there. <laughs> Fill in. And then, uh, yeah, they're just moving some dirt around there. It's gonna fill in where the wall is down where we dug for where the pumps are. It's the backfill in there. Onto the pequeño. See? All the little pieces now. And uh, Leo's got a pot set up to do uh, some chicharron. I think he's doing it here. Just 
over here by the uh, all of our yard waste. <laughs> He got the table set up, but yeah, he's got a little pot set up for uh, doing some chicharron. So I think he's gonna do it here. Yeah, he's got the wood there, so I think he's just gonna use the wood scraps, heat it up, and uh, make some. So if he does right here, then uh, I'll show you guys that. So I asked Leo what to ask for when we go to the butcher to get the same stuff, and he just said uh, tocino. So you go in and ask for it was, that's one kilo, yeah. Yeah, so he got one kilo and it's 2,000 colones for the tocino, so it's like pork belly to make the chicharron. So you have to go and uh, get some like like this and try doing it as well sometime. Make uh, chief rijo. Yeah, for the top, see? Yeah. This would be cool to make chief rijo from like scratch, like on uh, on bricks like this. <laughs> make uh, total chief rijo. On the, on the bricks, yeah. <laughs> okay. The arroz, arroz, frijoles, frijoles. tomate, pico de gallo, yeah. y chicharrón. Dad's here to make sure Leo's doing it right. Right? Papa's recipe. <laughs> Alright, so that was a fun little ending to this video. The guy's having uh, the chicharron and some plantain. It's actually not plantain, it's not banana, it's a similar fruit that's in between there. Uh, I don't, he said the Spanish name, but I can't remember what it is. So, um, yeah, I don't know. But it's probably like, a little sweet like a banana but not not too sweet so yeah frying it up so yeah that was uh, cool just to film him making that uh, start to their weekend some beer and some chicharron not a bad way to start it uh, but yeah if you guys like this video please leave a thumbs up if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come on new videos and we'll see you in the next one ciao